Fotis Dulos is in critical condition this morning after attempting suicide. Dulos is charged with kidnapping and killing his estranged wife at their Connecticut home last May. And this was the scene yesterday as first responders worked to save his life after finding him unconscious in his garage. Dulos then unloaded or was then unloaded onto an ambulance for transport to a nearby hospital and has since been moved to New York. Mola Lenghi is outside the hospital where he's being treated now. Mola, good morning. Strange development here. What do we know? Oh, yeah. Good morning, Tony. Dulos is being treated here at Jacoby Medical Center for carbon monoxide poisoning. Meanwhile, investigators are still going through the scene at his Connecticut home. They wouldn't confirm to us yesterday whether he left a note in this apparent suicide attempt. Now, as we know, as you mentioned, uh, Dulos and his ex-girlfriend are charged in the alleged murder of his estranged wife, Jennifer. Both the suspects are out on bail. Fotis Dulos landed at this New York City hospital Tuesday afternoon after officers found him unresponsive, sitting in his running vehicle in the garage of his Farmington, Connecticut home. Police were sent to check on Dulos after he failed to show up for a bond hearing that could have sent him back to jail pending trial for the alleged murder of his wife. When officers responded, they could see through a window that Mr. Dulos was sitting in his vehicle and he had obvious signs of medical distress. Drones flying above his home captured footage of officers trying to revive the 52-year-old. They performed CPR for more than 10 minutes. Dulos was rushed to Yukon Health before being transferred via medical helicopter to New York City. Doctors say he could suffer permanent damage. Once the heart has been damaged, once the brain has been without enough oxygen for too long, there can be irreversible symptoms. Dulos was under house arrest, awaiting trial for the alleged murder of his wife. Jennifer, who disappeared in May after taking her five children to school. Officers have investigated for months but have yet to find her body, a fact the defense plans on highlighting at the trial. We categorically deny that Mr. Dulos had any involvement in the disappearance of his wife, Jennifer, and we defy the state to prove that she is in fact dead. Dulos's former girlfriend, Michelle Traconis, and his former attorney, Kent Maloney, were also arrested. Both are charged with conspiracy to commit murder for allegedly helping Dulos cover up the suspected crime. Maloney's lawyer says the state does not have enough evidence. Look at the warrant. I struggle to find the, the case that the state will eventually prove here. Now, if Dulos does suffer some sort of permanent health damage, that could ultimately impact his trial uh, later this year if he is deemed uh, unable to participate in his own defense. Of course, he is facing life in prison on this murder charge. He has insisted in his innocence. Meanwhile, Anthony, the couple's five children are in the care of Jennifer's mother. Yeah, another twist into this already tragic story. Mola, thank you.